Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Whoa week. Someone's having fun out there. This week I had my first ever pop-up. I did a permanent bracelet pop-up where I installed a bunch of these beautiful gold bracelets onto you guys and I wish I did a better job of documenting. The problem is I was just so overwhelmed with talking to everybody and doing the bracelets that I didn't have a lot of time to pick up the camera and my brother could have been a better cameraman, but it's okay, he's trying. I did have so much fun though, so I'm probably gonna do it again soon, in a month, in two months, I don't know. I'll keep you all updated here on Instagram and TikTok, so stay tuned if you missed that one or if you wanna come again. Disclaimers, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, I'm just a random foodie girl who lives in New York City showing you guys what I eat so we can hang out, you know, maybe you get some meal ideas and have fun. That's all I have for an intro. Let's hop straight into it. Good morning. I'm at Rose Diner. I just finished shooting an interview with Ro herself. Herself? I just finished shooting an interview with Ro herself. She's the head chef and part owner of this place. So of course I'm gonna eat some banging ass food while I'm here. We're starting off with strawberry pancakes, which have maple butter in them, fresh strawberries, and like a strawberry crunch. I can't wait. And then we also have the biggest Reuben I've seen in my life. It has pickles and like a special sauce, sauerkraut on marbly rye bread. Let's go. Mm. And she's working on a whipped cream made with lentils. So of course I had to try it. Let's do it. Taste test, unreleased item. Ooh, it's really good. You can't tell it's made with lentils. It tastes like a, like a cinnamon vanilla whipped cream. I hope this gets on the menu. For once in my life around food, I'm gonna have some dignity. And I'm gonna eat this sandwich with a fork. I think she was a little too ambitious in the making of this thing. Gotta be honest. She was trying to show off a little. Made it a little too big. Take a look at that. Yo, I don't know Rubens. Is it corned beef or roast beef that goes in a Ruben? Whatever it is, this beef variety. It looks beautiful. That's delicious. Oh my god. You should get that. Couldn't think of a better breakfast, honestly. Getting the sweet and the savory. I just ate a ton of cakes. I can't even name all of them, but I'm at Rossum Treats and they make fully raw vegan cakes. So these are only six of the ones that I've tried, which by the way, my favorites was the red velvet and the trisome, which is this one right here. It's so beautiful. Um, I also really like this one, it's black sesame. But they just handed me another one. And it's peanut butter chocolate, so we're gonna try. I'm so sorry, my camera died. As I was saying, peanut butter cup chocolate, peanut, no, peanut butter chocolate, peanut butter cup cake. <sighs> we're gonna try it together. Look how beautiful. Okay, this one's going amongst my top ones now. Now my favorite is red velvet. Try some peanut butter. Black sesame. My favorites are half the menu apparently. Yeah, I got a napkin for this cake I fell on the floor. Does this count as girl dinner? I just felt like um, snacking on random things. So we have an end bread with hummus. We have some random seitan that I made. This is just some green beans and some watermelon. I, I just rummaged through the fridge, found everything that looked good, and I put it on a plate. Bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning. I just shot at Le Petit Mansre in Brooklyn, the first like big location. Oh my goodness, guys, their pastries, their pastries are so freaking good. And I munched on them for breakfast and I'm gonna eat a bacon, egg and cheese on a croissant um, from them right now as like my official breakfast, I guess. Oh, let me see, where is it? This little baby right here, I'm gonna eat it on my way to an estate sale. I saw something on Facebook Marketplace about an estate sale and I figured if I had energy today after shooting at Le Petit, then I would go. So, munching on that little sandwich and we're gonna go see if I could find very specifically a mid-century credenza that's like under 50 inches wide and not a million dollars. Wish me luck. I just put the address for the estate sale in Google Maps and it's three blocks from here, so I'm not driving, we're gonna go. I'm gonna give these boxes back to Le Petit so they can hold them while I'm at the estate sale. I don't want the pastries to melt in my car. That estate sale was such a whirlwind, I couldn't get footage. Like, okay, I went there for furniture. Furniture was not found. But what I did find was a pair of pants that fit me so well. And I looked them up online and they're like a couple hundred dollars online and I got them for $15. Look. Like, look at the detail. I love the pocket. Perfection, okay. And then I got these like, I looked them up online and they're like old lady pants, but again, they're so cute, so I don't care. They're worth like $80, but the material is just so nice and comfy. So I got those pants, but then I also got my mom so much clothes, like four really cool jackets. I'll show you. My mom likes really funky artsy stuff. So as soon as I saw these, I knew she'd like them. Like, doesn't this look like something your art teacher would wear? Your art teacher would definitely wear this. Wait, look at the back. What? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Whoever's estate this belonged to was a very, very, very cool lady. Anyway, I'm tired, but I don't feel like sleeping. So I'm gonna blend myself up a protein ice cream and eat that while I clean my room and hopefully that re-energizes me. Oh, and I'm gonna start like going through all the content I got at Le Petit. I've had a nap. And this is what we're eating. Oh no! <laughs> this looks like just regular rice and beans, but it's not. It's rice, kimchi beans. So there's like a company called Heyday. They make like flavored beans in a can. Like each bean has a different flavor. Well, this one is kimchi beans and then Beyond Meat crumbles. So I just like mix them all together. And then I saw that my mom bought iceberg lettuce, which is a vehicle for ranch. So I just put a chunk on a plate with a bit of ranch. That's the most American thing I'll do, honestly. Gonna eat this up and Try to wake up, you know, I had one of those naps where you're just like, what century is it? You know? Just got back from the gym. Was not the best workout. It was extremely mid, but it was all right. It was fine. It was fine. Anyway, I made some like, <sighs> I have this like instant pasta, like it's an instant mac and cheese and an instant Cajun pasta. And I got lazy and I just like mixed them all together and then I like made it all up and I'm having that for dinner. Let me show it to you. It just looks like pasta soup. Ta-da, it's really nothing much to look at. You can see the little pastas in there and the little bits of corn, little bits of tomato. Um, but yeah, I have some of this and I'm probably just gonna eat it over the next few days just to like finish her up. Hello and good morning. Your girl woke up hungry and with no meal prep. So I made arus. Arus means like bride in Arabic. All it means is like when you take half a pita and put things in it and roll it up. I don't know why it's called arus. I always just assumed it's like how a bride is like rolled up in her wedding dress. Cause it's like, I don't know. 
I don't know, man, but it's basically a sandwich. I put deli slices, which by the way, I stopped cutting them thin. That's too much work. I make them thick now. Who cares? Tomatoes. Now my dressing is ranch and grey poupon and some romaine. I just wanted something savory in my belly. Love a good sandwich. I really want to go fill some fridges today. So I'm going to try to organize my day so I have time for that. I haven't gone in a minute, so we'll see if I can make that happen. So we filled the community fridge. I'll put a before picture here and an after picture here and another after picture because there's a little pantry section. Um, and I just got back. I'm very hungry. So I'm eating some of the mashed potato meal prep that we made together earlier. Mm. It's pretty good. I didn't go into this with a plan or anything. I just wanted to use up a carb, a protein, and a veggie. And mix them all together. Turned out pretty good. Another day, another protein peanut noodle. Only listen to this advice if you're a gym babe. Um, I try not to have really fat heavy things right before the gym. Not because fat is bad. Fat is amazing. Um, but it kind of slows you down right before a workout. So I'm trying to eat this a couple hours before my workout and then right before my workout I'm going to eat a shit ton of carbs which is some fresh watermelon. It looks so good. Can't wait. Um, so that's why I'm pacing my meals like that because I knew I wanted peanut butter noodles so I'm having it now instead of later. Mm. <laughs> Listen up, I gotta catch you up on a lot of things and I don't have a lot of time to do it in. So, first off, it's been a few days since you last saw me. I know, usually I like shoot these things a week straight, but I was really anxious for a few days, so I had to take a break from filming. But we're picking up today like nothing ever happened. Got it? Good. Number two, I'm eating a little sandwich before I run off. Uh, it's a pita bread, and then you have some like uh, Sarah's seitan, some cucumber, some mustard, and some ranch, okay? That's number two. Number three, I'm doing my very first meetup today. And I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous and I'm running late. Um, whew. And it's 95 degrees outside. I don't know if a lot of people are coming. I don't know if a little people are coming. No matter what, I'm stressed, okay? Um, but I have to finish getting all my stuff together and then I have to head to work to go pick up my little uh, zappy equipment because I'm gonna be offering permanent bracelets at the meetup because I wanted something to do with my hands. This way I didn't get too anxious. Then right after the meetup, I'm actually going to my friend's birthday party. So today is a crazy busy day. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm at Neat Burger. I'm with my little brother, Daniel. We have the zappy machine. We're setting it up. And I got a wrap. Roberto got a chicken sandwich. We're gonna eat something before the party starts. Cause I don't know how crazy it's gonna get. Amir brought us out a new salad. It's not yet on the menu and he wants us to give it a try. So let's go. Oh, this is zoomed in. Uh, I'm not typically a fruit in salad gal, but I told him that. Honestly, it's very refreshing. Still not a fruit in salad gal, but I think it's done pretty good. <laughs> Very correct. Yeah. It's good for the 95 degree day. 
My brother is troubleshooting some technical difficulties, but this is what we got. Tater tots, chicken sandwich, boom. And then I'll show you my wrap. So this is like the bar, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a barbecue mushroom wrap. Don't tell anyone I'm cheating on my wrap, okay? They're both good. It looks like a mess. Mm. Yeah, this is a good wrap. So awesome. Uh, we're pretty happy right now. heat poisoning which is kind of like food poisoning except for you add a massive headache to it because I found out last night trigger warning it's not pretty <laughs> no 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 so yesterday I think I should have done a better job of shooting but I was just so overwhelmed with like the amount of people and I was little zip zapping the whole time I had a great time by the way like no regrets but it was 95 97 degrees the doors were open so i was just hot all day and i was wearing my jumpsuit because i didn't know what else to wear and it was scorching in there um i thought i drank enough water to like make up for it but apparently not because after a quick pit stop at my friend's birthday party i headed home and i tried to go to sleep around midnight because it took me two hours to get home on the subway um, but yeah, I tried to go to sleep around midnight and all of a sudden, like, nausea, diarrhea, feeling like I'm going to pass out and throw up. It was awful. I was, like, in the bathroom till like, 3 a.m. Oh, I feel a little better today. I'm not at 100%, but this is a warning to everybody. Drink water and stay cool because global warming will murder you. You're going to be in the bathroom all night like I was. Um... So, I'm working from home today. I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I'm gonna meal prep because I am once again completely out. I might go old school and make egg bites and protein mac and cheese. Just, you know, keep it real simple. I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself a sandwich like yesterday. Flash forward, I have a little snack. Uh, it's Three Wishes cereal in the honey flavor. And yes, it's honey flavor. It's not honey, honey. Um, I still haven't meal prepped. Because I've been working and cleaning. I'm not being lazy. But I will go to the grocery store in a little bit. Right after I finish doing laundry. I decided no cheesy egg bites and mac and cheese. By the way, I'm having a protein ice cream. I decided egg bites and I took this like vegan dried chicken substitute from Mewa, and then this like Indian spice oil sauce mix and I put it with some broccoli and then I made rice. So I made egg bites and then that thing and my meals are prepped so I'll be eating that today. I'm happy with that. But for now, some mid ice cream. I tried a new recipe and I do not like it. Wow, this camera has not moved all day, but look, here's proof that I meal prepped. Egg bites. Do y'all miss these? I've been wanting to make a video. It's just so hard to like shoot cooking videos in my parents' house. I've been, walking, I've been wanting to make a video like with like high protein recipes, so like high protein recipe compilation YouTube videos. But I have a hard time shooting in the kitchen. Cause there's always people in it, and noise, and mess. I don't know. 
but the recipe for this is on my Instagram. So I'm shooting at Paradise Taco this morning, which means I'm having breakfast at Paradise Taco this morning. The only parking I could find is metered parking, which is fine, except for the parking meter is saying every single one of my cards are invalid. I tried three credit cards, one business credit card, and then a debit card. And they're all invalid. That's definitely the machine. That is not on me. So I don't know what to do. I don't have change. And Paradise Taco isn't open yet, so I have to wait another like 15 minutes for them to open. Maybe they have quarters for me, I don't know. On top of that, I really have to pee. And I was hoping I could run in and pee, but I got here 13 minutes early. I think they're having a block party here soon because someone opened up the sprinklers. And by the sprinkler, I mean the fire hydrant. Um, and sometimes when the wind is blowing, I'm getting little showers. But honestly, considering how hot it is outside, I don't mind at all as long as my camera doesn't get too wet. But this is what I thought of everything that I had. First off, clear winner of everything that I tried was the breakfast burrito. This baby right here, the potatoes, amazing. The just egg, fluffy. Whatever sauces they have in here, just creamy, well-flavored, delicious. If when I were to come back, this would be my order, the breakfast burrito. The nachos, pretty good. The sauce they put inside, like it's like a homemade cheese sauce, phenomenal. I really like that. Although I did have it when it was soggy because I'd take pictures, so I didn't have the full, like, you know, dippy experience. It's fine. Life of a food content creator. The corn, also really good, like really good corn. I was taking the nachos and actually dipping them in the corn and that really hit. And then the tacos were good too. The coolest part about the tacos is that you can get them like double shelled. So like the inside is a corn tortilla and the outside is a flour tortilla and they put cheese in the inside like between them and that's pretty cool. But if I were to come back, I would get the breakfast burrito and the corn. Like those are my top two. And then if you want nachos, nachos are good too. I'm gonna pop this open. Okay, too much water. Let's, let's get this camera safe. My mom cut a watermelon, so it's watermelon time. Yeah, I just took a little nap, woke up, eat watermelon. Mm-mm-mm, that's a life. Some pre-workout, I just have the three little egg bites with ketchup, mustard, and sriracha. All right, so my goal before my birthday, which is in October, is to be able to deadlift 225. And I think I'm gonna be able to do it because last time I checked, my max was 195. And 30 doesn't seem like a lot of pounds, but it is a lot of pounds for me. But today, I was working at like 175. I don't know, I think it's doable. Anyway, um, I just heated up some of that same stuff I had yesterday for dinner. Let me show you. Listen, it might seem like the broccoli to like chicken ratio is skewed, but I swear when I made the broccoli, there was a lot of broccoli in there. They just like shriveled up and now they look stupid. <laughs> but we just have like the broccoli, the little chicken slices. I'm enjoying these. They're from Lily's Vegan Pantry or like Maywa, whatever you want to call it. And then I just have it on rice and I showed you the seasoning I put on it. And that's it. I'm gonna have a good night. Update, craving something sweet, so I'm gonna have one of these oatmeal raisin cookies. Okay, now good night, good night. Good morning. So, for breakfast, we have leftovers of the best breakfast burrito I've had in a really long time. This is from, ooh, it doesn't look so beautiful today, but there it is. This is from Paradise Taco in Brooklyn. And then, I also have some 
watermelon for myself. Ugh, I feel like earlier in the summer I didn't get good watermelon and now I've been getting great watermelon and it makes me so happy. Mmm. I have an urge to invent a recipe, right? And I want the recipe to include one thing that Bonza sent me. One second. Yes, as a food creator, I do have random food in my bedroom. So they sent me this bucatini, bucatini, made from chickpeas. Now, I'm sure it'll taste great because, you know, Bonza pasta is just great. I eat it all the time. I've just never had this shape before. But you know how, like, the chickpea pasta has like extra protein. Like what if I like just oomph that up? What if I made a like creamy sauce with a tofu? So it's just like protein in the pasta and then protein in the sauce. And I've been sitting here thinking about it. Like, do I really want to go out and buy tofu? Cause I don't have any. Just so I could experiment with this little saucy sauce. Maybe I do. Or I could just eat a snack instead. Cause I need to eat something soon before I go on a walk. Cause I want to go on a walk. Cause I've been inside all day, but I'm hungry first. Update, cannot get it off my mind. We're going to do it. And I'm not thinking like a fully white sauce either. For some reason, the salty tanginess of tomato paste is also in my head. So tofu, tomato paste, Italian seasonings, nutritional yeast, salt, lemon juice. I think it could taste good. Clips in my parents' kitchen, not great. But you know what's on the verge of great? This pasta. The only thing that can make it better is I think next time I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice and some more tomato paste. It needs just a tad more zing. I decided to put bacon bits in it that I made myself from seitan bacon. Um, and then it was tofu, onion, garlic, basil, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes. Yep, that's everything. Mm-hmm, it's exactly what I was in mouth today. Delightful. I'm so sorry, I had some chocolate protein ice cream. I got distracted because I, sh ugh, my mouth is cold, it's hard to talk. I was shooting a TikTok about it, so I got distracted and forgot to shoot here. So, protein ice cream, delicious. I put hot chocolate mix in this one, made it taste even better. Pre-workout time, babes. We got three little egg bites with ketchup, mustard, and sriracha. I'm not that hungry, but I know if I go to the gym without eating, I'll get hungry there, and that's no fun. So, I'm pre-eating. <laughs> Whoa, dinner's the same as yesterday. A guy tried to convince me that I could shoulder press 40s today and I tried to and failed, but I will try again in two weeks and I think I'm gonna get it because I'm this close. All right, that's it for today. Good night. That's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, and Clark. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!